Hello class, welcome to the Minute Math YouTube channel. Please hit the subscribe button below and share our videos. You can also find great math content and links to all of our videos at www.minutemathtutor.com. All right now, enjoy the lesson. Hi, I'm Sean Gannon and this is Minute Math and today we're learning about proportion word problems. We're going to answer each question and round your answer to the nearest whole number. If I was given this problem, Jasmine bought 32 kiwi fruit for $16. How many kiwi can Lisa buy if she has four dollars? All right. So we know that Jasmine, she bought 32 kiwi for $16. So 32 kiwi here is equal to $16. Now Lisa wants to see how much she can buy with four dollars. So she has four dollars here and she wants to see how many kiwis she can buy. So let's let the variable K stand for the number of kiwis she wants to buy. All right. Let's set up a proportion. 32 kiwis over $16 is equal to, right, the letter K, number of kiwis that Lisa wants to get, right, yeah, Lisa, for $4, okay? Now let's go solve this proportion, okay? So what I actually want to do is, you can cross multiply here, all right, but since K is really by itself on the right, if I just multiply 4 to both sides, I just, or bring 4 over here, I multiply 4 up, I'm left with 32 times 4 over 16, and it's equal to k. Now to simplify this a little bit here, what I like to do is, well, 16 and 4 are both divisible by 4. 16 divided by 4 is 4, and 4 is 1. Now 32 divided by 4, that's easy. So now we have k by ourself, we put it up here, k by ourself, flipped it around, is equal to 32 divided by 4, which is just 8. So 8 kiwis, is how many that Lisa can buy with $4. So quick recap, we're given uh, Jasmine buying 32 kiwis of fruit for $16. How many kiwi can Lisa buy if she has $4? Well, we set up our proportion, 32 over 16 equals K over four, and we solved that proportion for K. We end up getting K being eight, and so for $4, Lisa can buy eight kiwi. Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, the creator of Minute Math. And if you like this video, please hit the like button that's right there. If you have a mathematical question, just add it to the comment section below. And lastly, if you want to see more videos just like this one, hit subscribe. It's right there. But as always, thanks for watching.